Welcome everybody to Resident Evil News, the series where I talk about all things Resident Evil related. And today I will be covering some huge Resident Evil 4 remake leaks that came out just a few weeks ago. Apparently, the hookman from the beta version of Resident Evil 4 is making a return. The game is going to have stealth mechanics and we have a possible release date for the RE4 remake demo. There is a lot to talk about today. I'm going to cover all of these leaks, give my personal opinions, and then I want to hear what you guys think. As always, take this with a grain of salt and potential spoilers ahead. Starting off with the leaks, it says one boss area has been cut from the game entirely, and it also says that one regular enemy has been cut. The leaks then go on to say that the action segments in the game will be just like the RE3 remake and Resident Evil Village. Those two games were very action heavy, so it's no surprise that the RE4 remake is going to be action heavy as well. Now, this one right here might shock people, but the leaks state that the there are multiple stalker enemies in the game. Before, people just assumed that the remake was going to have just one stalker enemy, but it says here that there are multiple stalker enemies. Some people might really like that and some people might hate that. Now this right here is also pretty exciting. It says the hookman is going to be in the remake. He will have his very own boss fight and his character model from the beta version of RE4 is going to be pretty much the same. It then goes on to say that in the remake you will start off playing as Ashley and then you'll switch over to Leon which I've already predicted in the past it just makes sense to start off the game with Ashley and then she gets captured and then you switch over to Leon now this next leak is really going to shock people but it says here that Krauser is in the remake and his character will be fleshed out more the village section in the game is going to be way more spaced out in other words the village in the remake is going to be a lot bigger and interestingly enough it says giant spiders are going to be in the remake i'm not too sure if i believe that but i don't know i guess we'll have to wait and see now this one surprised me the most it says the re4 remake will feature a total of eight new enemies eight new enemies that's a lot now i don't know if i believe this but then again capcom is trying to make the re4 remake one of their biggest resident evil games ever so i wouldn't be surprised if the game features a ton of new enemies and then it goes on to say that the game is going to have a lot of stealth now comment below your thoughts on stealth in resident evil games personally i'm not the biggest fan of stealth in re games but if they do it right then i'd be okay with it remember in the gameplay showcase we see leon crouch under the barbed wire it then goes on to say that the merchant and dr salvador will have more backstory in the remake dr Salvador will also be a stalker enemy. He will be taller than Leon, unlike the original, and Dr. Salvador will have his very own boss fight. Moving on, it says the island section of the game will have less action and most of the island has been converted into a lab, which is also a leak I've talked about in the past. It then says that the mercenaries game mode is making a return, which I think all of us assume that. Mercenaries is one of the best game modes in Red Resident Evil 4, so it's a no-brainer that Capcom needs to bring it back. Now, this next leak is very interesting, and I need you guys to listen closely. It says the game will have an option for you to switch between first person and third person. Now, you might be hearing that, and you might think, oh no, that can't be true. But remember, the RE4 remake is getting PlayStation VR support, meaning you will be able to play the game in first person. So even though VR and actual controls are two totally different things it makes me wonder could this really be a thing and keep in mind resident evil village is getting dlc in october where you can play the game in either first person or third person and it really does seem like capcom wants this remake to be like the most accessible re game so i wonder this could actually end up being true we could have two ways of playing the remake it might be a little clunky but hey i'll take it it then says that the kick mechanic from the original 
original game is making a return, which is obviously really good. It then says that Ashley will now have a small knife. She will give Leon items in battle and she will push away enemies and help Leon unlock doors. Next up, the leaks then state that the Bella sisters have been entirely cut from the remake, which of course were the two Chainsaw sisters. Albert Wesker will have his very own boss fight. Again, sounds absolutely ridiculous, but it could very well end up being true. And there have been a ton of rumors that Capcom want to fit Albert Wesker more into the story. So this could be a very good opportunity for Leon and Albert Wesker to meet up with each other. For the final boss fight of the game, it says Leon will fight Sadler in his human form. And in the second phase, he'll fight Sadler in his spider form, which again, sounds perfectly fine to me. Now, this next leak is quite interesting. It says the side characters in the remake are going to have small story DLC. So characters like Lewis and Ada are going to have smaller DLC stories where you can play from their perspective. Now, in the original RE4, we had a mode called Separate Ways, where you played from the perspective of Ada Wong. So I wonder if Separate Ways got cut and they're just making something different, or if we're just getting one big DLC where we get to play as all of the side characters. Now for the demo release date. The leaks then go on to state that the demo for the remake will either release sometime between November 2022 through January of 2023. Some people have said that why would they release the demo that early? But keep in mind, Capcom really wants to build hype for this game. You don't want to release something at the last minute to build hype. Recent Resident Evil demos usually get a demo just a couple weeks before the final game releases. I feel like we're going to get a ton of demos for the RE4 remake, and it makes sense to release them early so you can help build up that hype in the community. But those are all of the leaks. Now, I want to know what you guys think. Again, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not claiming for any of this to be true, and we'll never know what is truly real and not real until the final game is released. But thank you all so much for watching this video, and until next time.